Stephen Stewart. I am the president of XMET Inc. We are a Toronto venture stock exchange company. Um, I guess we're best known for our graphite project right now. It's called the Black Flake Project, and uh, it's located up in Hearst, Ontario. In 2013, well, it's really, you know, the, the story of Black Flake starts back in, in November, uh, at least from a public disclosure standpoint. Um, on November 4th, we announced that we had acquired a, a substantial land position in the area. It actually abuts uh, Zenyatta's uh, Albany project. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of interest up in the area as a result of the success, success that they've had uh, dating back from 2012. So uh, we, uh, we staked that property there. Uh, we grew it organically up to about 30,000 acres uh, as of today. Uh, we own that property 100% uh, with no uh, NSRs uh, whatsoever. And uh, the market's taken notice as a result of the, the geophysical uh, anomalies that we've uncovered ever since we, we took over the land package. Um, you know, from a, a, stock, per, a, a stock perspective, uh, just to put things in context and how much attention we've actually generated, uh, we were on November 4th, we were, we were trading at one penny. And um, ever since then, we, we've hit a high of 19, 19 cents. So it's been, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. We've had almost 80 million shares traded, uh, which is about a, over a 1.5 million shares traded per day uh, since that announcement. So uh, it's, it's, been, it's been great fun, um, and uh, we've provided some good returns for our shareholders to date. Well, yes, actually. Insiders, uh, in the last 12 months, uh, me personally, I've purchased about a, a 1.5 million shares. Uh, if, we, if we take it further out and we include all the directors and insiders, I would say there's probably been about 4 to 5 million shares purchased in the last six months. And, um, you know, the reason we did that is because uh, we believe in this project, quite frankly. Um, if you, you know, I hate to compare us to anybody, but... I, the reason everybody is in the area that we're in is, because, as I said, because of the success that Zenyatta has. And they're a $150 million market cap company. We're a $9 million market cap company. And we think we have what they have. So uh, if we prove that with the drill program that we're, we're um, in the middle of right now, uh, we're not going to be a $9 million company for too much longer. And, and, and the insiders and management believe that, and we've put our money where our mouth is. It's going to be a busy, busy six months. We've got everything planned out and budgeted accordingly. Uh, we successfully raised seven hundred thousand dollars on uh, December thirty-first. So we've got you know money to play with. We're not rich by any stretch, but we've got enough money to get the job done and answer the questions that need to be answered. So you know, first of all, uh, we're we're starting with the line cutting program, which will um, you know enable us to do a, an IP survey over this um, juicy target that we've discovered. <coughs> This is the target that looks just like the, uh, from a geophysical perspective, looks just like uh, the Albany anomaly. And uh, so we're going to do line cutting and IP that will give us a, a better understanding of where the dike system is because we want to make sure that we drill on the right spot. Uh, and there's no gra graphite in dikes, so you know the IP will enable us to, to determine which direction to point the drills. And then obviously, immediately after that, uh, the drills are going to be turning. <clears throat> and uh, you know, our objective is to do that as soon as possible. Uh, the permitting is underway. Uh, it's a minimum 30-day process, and we expect to have the permits in place early February, and the drills will be turning you know, as soon as we can get a drill on the property. I admire a lot of companies. And when I say companies, I admire projects over companies because it's really it's an asset-based industry. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is a company called Ore Finders. Um, you know, I, I, I should you know, note that I am involved with Ore Finders, but a uh, uh, very interesting project. I encourage anybody who's looking at a gold project in Ontario to take a look at these guys. Um, they've got a really nice project up in Kirtland Lake.